Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. So today I'm sitting here in my little rainbow sweater and I'm going to do a very casual no pressure December TBR. I want to get to all these books in December. I don't know if I will. And if I don't, that's fine. But this is my very ambitious December TBR. So first up, obviously, I am hosting the Disney Channel Games Readathon along with seven other amazing creators here on BookTube uh, for two weeks in December. So I have four of my books for four out of the five prompts picked out for that already. I don't have my final book picked out because I want to do it live in the vlog for the alphabet challenge where I have to do a random letter and then pick a book that starts with that letter. So I have not picked that out yet. You get to pick it live with me in the vlog. So make sure to watch that vlog when it comes out. Uh, but I do have my other four books picked. So I will just quickly run through them. For the obstacle course prompt, I am reading The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley because it is a twisty thriller and that is the point of that prompt. It is about 10 people, I think, who are out for a reunion in the Scottish wilderness and one of them ends up being murdered and one of them obviously ends up being a murderer. So it's a classic whodunit. It has very cold wintry vibes so I thought it would be perfect to read in December and perfect for that prompt. Next up for the dunk tank prompt I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover because it has water on the cover. This is a kind of friends with benefits to lovers romance that apparently is super emotional and is gonna make me cry. For the Extreme Egg Toss prompt, I am buddy reading In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is the green team. Obviously, Naima and I are hosts of the green team. <laughs> this is our team buddy read pick. So obviously, the prompt for the Extreme Egg Toss challenge is to buddy read a book. And this is the one that we're going to be reading on the green team. This is a kind of Groundhog Day-esque uh, romance about a girl who is kind of stuck in this life that she doesn't want and then she gets into a car accident and she starts living the same day over and over and over until she finds what makes her truly happy and along the way probably finds love. So this reminds me a lot of like Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver and I think it might be like that but obviously she's not gonna die in the car accident. It's like a time loop kind of situation. So I usually don't like Christina Lauren but because of that time loop kind of element I'm very interested and I hope I really like this because it is our buddy read for the readathon so and for the last challenge other than like I said the alphabet prompt that is the Simon Says challenge and the prompt is obviously to read a book that has been recommended to you. Simon Says, read this book. So this book has actually been recommended to me a lot and I've had a few actual requests in the comments to review this book on my channel. So that is The Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. And actually Caroline Johnson just recently spoke about this book and said it was underrated and she really liked it. And it's also wintry and snowy and atmospheric. So I hope I really like it. It is about a group of people People in the Catskills who are stuck in this cabin I think they're like snowed in and they start dropping off it sounds a lot like one by one by Ruth Ware and also like the hunting party a little bit so hopefully I like this one as well and that is all I have for my TBR for the Disney Channel games readathon the rest of the books I'm just reading because they sound like they would be fun uh, December reads The first one is The Chain by Adrienne McKenzie. I'm buddy reading this with Caroline Johnson, who I just mentioned, and Jess from Books Past Bedtime. It is a thriller about a child kidnapping ring, uh, where basically it's a loop. If someone kidnaps your child, you have to kidnap another child to get them back, and so on and so on. So it sounds really twisty and convoluted and interesting, and I hope this ends up being probably like a last minute favorite of the year. Maybe. Y'all know who I love. Child kidnapping, so. Is child kidnapping redundant? I think it might be, sorry. 
Um, the next book I want to get to in December is Us Against You by Frederick Bachman. This is the sequel to Bear Town, which is one of my favorite books that I've read this year in 2020. And if you want to read this book, you obviously have to read Bear Town before, but it's basically what happens in the aftermath of Bear Town, which is about this town that is obsessed with hockey. Their whole economy and personality is based on hockey. It's gonna be really sad, I think. Beartown made me cry, so I'm sure this will make me cry as well. It's also like a very wintry setting, so I thought it would be good for December. Another book I want to get to this month is Olive Again by Elizabeth Strout. My friend Danny, who is the co-host with me for the Bat City Book Club in Austin, gave me this for my birthday, and I just think it's so beautiful. Look at this cover. And it just looks so wintry and wonderful. Look at these leaves falling. I know it looks like fall, but it honestly feels like fall in the winter here in Austin, Texas. So I think it would be perfect to read this month. It's a very lighthearted and funny contemporary about a quirky girl named Olive. So sounds like right up my alley. And then these last three books, I want to make a reading vlog with them for just like Christmassy holiday reads. And I have three very, very different Christmas books. So they're not all holiday romances. That's what I was originally going to do, but I feel like a lot of people are going to do that. So, so instead, I'm going to read three different holiday Christmassy themed books of different genres. So the first one that I have is a cozy mystery. I've never actually read one of these before, but it's called Holiday Grind by Cleo Coyle and is about the owner of a coffee house who walks out um, of her door one morning and in the alley behind her coffee shop, there there is a man who played Santa dead and murdered in the snow. Need I say more? The next one is a holiday romance and it is One Day in December by Josie Silver. I've heard that this is a really dramatic and <laughs> wonderfully twisty romance. Uh, Amanda from Ginger Snap Reads told me that I might like it because of all of the drama. Uh, but basically this is about a girl who locks eyes with a boy one day in December and um, never sees him again. She spends all this time looking for him and wondering what could have been and then a year later her best friend introduces her to her boyfriend and surprise it's him the drama sounds immaculate the winter vibes sound immaculate so i'm ready for that and then the last book that will probably be in that reading vlog is the snowman by yo nesbo i think that's how you say this name and I got this recommendation from Noelle Gallagher's video. I don't remember exactly which one because I watch all of her videos, but I think she's mentioned this book multiple times. And this is a wintry, Christmassy holiday vibe thriller uh, that revolves around a serial killer who marks his victims. Basically his like calling card is building a snowman. So I thought these three were all very holiday Christmas, but also very, very different and would make a fun reading vlog. So look forward to that. And that is pretty much all I have for my December reading plans. This is my last TBR of 2020. I am so excited for 2021 and all of the reading plans that I have for then. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked hanging out with me as much as I liked hanging out with you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.